<laughs> yeah, I, well, we're loving it. I'm not sure she's loving it. And there's a caution. Oh, big wreck down the back stretch. Big, big wreck. And you can have that. Oh, my. Do oh, Car my. Matt Jaskell in the 13, sitting up on top of Jesse Little. And the 92 closest to you there is Josh Williams. Spectacular. He was up in the air for a little bit here. Wow, I hope everybody's okay. Holy smokes. I mean, that's that self-cleaning effect of, a, of a, the banking and how everything ends up on the bottom. But I don't know how they all ended up in that spot. Jeez. The AMR safety team is there and checking on both drivers. You want to see those window nets come down. And that's the first sign from the driver to safety officials that they are OK. Pretty wild sequence of events there, Brad. I mean, the cars don't look like they have huge damage from certain areas, like no big hard hits. But it seemed like the wreck just kept going and going and going. Yeah, I mean, I, I looked up here as they were wrecking off a of turn two, and you could see the, the roof of one of the cars as it was flying. So there goes Jesse Little spinning. One Josh spin Williams side. spins to the outside. And then here comes Jaskell in the 13. And just so much momentum gets him up on top of the 78. And that's where if you get just a little bit of a tap from behind, you're gone at this track. It is yeah. so hard to be able to steer it and, and save it. One car spinning inside, one car spinning the outside, and I believe Jaskel is trying to check up and gets hit, and that's where this uh, this moment here where he just backs over the front end of that car. Oof. Jaskel oh, making wild. his third start of the year from out in Las Vegas. He has been around the world as a race car driver behind the wheel of virtually everything. And I'm guessing he hasn't had an experience like this before. Let's listen into the 13 team audio. He was checking up with you and then he decided to get to go. I don't I don't understand. I mean, dude, Steven, you were right on top of it. I didn't even lock up the brakes much. I mean, I was clutching smooth, man. Sorry, guys, I'm getting out. So that's Jaskell talking to spotter Steven Light. Very good to hear him talking on the radio. He's OK. Yep, and that's that that feel of you can't jump on the brakes too hard here, and he's trying to just get the car woed up, and then boom, you get hit from behind because that guy's trying not to hit the brakes too hard because if you do, you end up backing yourself around real quick. NASCAR's going to go to a quick red flag here. It looks like to clean it up, but wow, I'm glad to hear that radio either way to, to know he's okay, and uh, I, I don't know how they're going to clean this one up, to be quite honest with you. All these drivers will have to go to the care center and get checked out. Just need a couple tow trucks and a couple hooks. We'll get them out of there. But yeah, I'm glad everybody's looking to be okay here. Now we listen in on Jesse Little's radio. You are okay, right, bud? I'm just fine. I feel like an idiot. That's on me, guys. I'm sorry. I think I clipped the apron. Not sure. So easy to do here. And you know, we talk about this track and we call it the Monster Mile and we joke about it, but it really is a tough track to get around. And when you have a small mistake, it can make a big accident like this. Fourth caution of the day leads to a red flag. We're 60 laps in. Justin Allgaier leading at Dover.